son James had a little accident, nothing too serious, just a minor off in that Mazda RX-7 race car of his, but it was just enough to break the front bar. And with the way these things are made these days, I figure a lot of people might need to know how to fix them. The problem with these aftermarket bars is quite often that they make them so thin that they're not really strong enough down here and when you hit something this is what happens. The first thing I need to do is to make sure that the inside of the bar is really clean. So if there was dirt here I'd hose that off. There's a bit of paint here and what I'm cleaning this with of course is acetone. This will help the fiberglass bond to the bar. Now the inside's clean, we can start getting the outside ready for repair. What I've got to do now is tape up this crack and get the bar back as close as I can to its original shape. This tape will only hold the bar together while I fiberglass the other side. It'll also stop the resin from seeping through and making lumps on this side. The closer you can get the fiberglass to sit back where it originally was, the less filling you're going to have to do on the outside of your bar. The bar's got a secondary crack on the outside edge near the wheel arch. So I've got to fix this as well. You can see there's a bit of a hole here so I'll have to cover that with tape to stop all my resin coming through and making a big bulge. I've just found a third crack up near one of the front bar's mounting points and the problem is that this crack here won't allow me to push the panel back to line up properly so what I'll have to do is put a saw through here so that I can then line everything up. Now I've got my son's front bar taped back to almost its original shape, I can begin repairing it properly on the inside. There are a lot of ways you can repair a broken fiberglass bar and a lot of different materials you can use as well. I'm going to use what I know and what I've got to hand. Scraps of chopped strand mat, some woven fiberglass mat and some woven Kevlar tape for strength. Any one of these materials on their own in multiple layers would be okay. Obviously by combining different sorts of materials I'll get the strongest repair. And as far as resin goes I could use fiberglass resin or in this case I'm going to use epoxy resin. Now that I've got James's front bar on my work table I can see the previous repair that I did. Another crack that I'll have to fix and another crack that I'll have to fix. This has been more than just a little accident. This bar needs repairs on the driver's side and the passenger side so I'm going to have to do it in two goes and I've hung the bar up so that the main cracks that I want to repair first are positioned horizontally. This will stop the fiberglass mat falling off the job. So when you do something like this make sure you position your work to make it easy on yourself. I've catalyzed my resin a little bit on the warm side just under 2%. I can afford to have this job go off quickly because it's only a small job. Apply your resin and then when you lay your cloth, 
start with small bits and then work your way out making them a little bit larger as you go that way you increase the surface contact of the job and spread out how much area you've got for the fiberglass to lock into so you can see that this second bit is a bit bigger than the first one I've actually changed my mind and gone back to using fiberglass resin for this first bit but as I said before you could use either the fiberglass and resin you can see where the crack was and that repair should really hold now this is the main crack that's repaired from the accident and you can see it's fairly well lined up and I'm pretty happy that I've got it fairly close back to the original shape the fiberglass repairs are done now I'm going to strengthen the bottom of the bar with Kevlar and epoxy resin I've laid the fiberglass and Kevlar tapes right into this bottom lip. Now it'll be super strong. But the, I've also got the chance now to show you a technique that I use to add maximum strength into the bottom edge. I'm going to fill this bottom lip with pouring foam. Let's have a look at that product. You can buy pouring or expanding foam in a tube but the best stuff you buy as two separate liquids, poly and iso, and you mix the two together in equal parts either by volume or I prefer by weight. This stuff expands to 25 times its volume. Watch what happens. You've got to mix it really well. On a larger amount than this I'd use a cordless drill with a wire whisk. How far do you reckon that's going to go? Like I said, 20 times its volume. Pouring foam is a very handy space filler and a very strong adhesive. You've got to be careful with it when you're using it on cars because even in this state it remains highly flammable but down on the bottom of this front bar there's no risk of fire I covered the bottom edge of the bar in plastic to control the foam and to make it expand up where I want it to hang on sports fans here we go When you see all those bubbles on the surface, it's time to pour it. Well, you can see how much this has expanded. It sure lives up to its name. And if there's the smallest hole, it'll find it and come out.
well here's the bottom of the bar all filled with foam that's not going anywhere and the front oh, it's all done there's a bit of painting to do but the repair is complete thanks for watching